how it works is before um, it's deployed, we set up an interview with the physician or with the, all the physicians in the department. And we capture the frequently asked questions. The frequently asked questions then get built into an online template. And we built a um, encrypted uh, account where the medical assistant logs in. Um, by the way, taking it back one step, the physician, when he meets with a patient, he has a clipboard. And that clipboard um, map has all the videos that he has available at his disposal. So when he meets with a patient, he diagnoses a patient, he checks off on the form, um, stage one, needs a mastectomy, uh, chemo, radiation, really checks off the available video boxes, hands the sheet off to the nurse in his clipboard, the nurse logs into the encrypted account, checks the relevant videos, and a form letter gets populated when they click send, and it sends off an email to the physician. I'm sorry, to the individual patient. It's a customized education tool that comes directly from your physician to, if you're the patient, to yourself. And it's an, it's an um, addition or an enhancement to the education process that happens during that seven minute magical window when you're diagnosed. And in 2008, I was diagnosed with um, a cardiac arrhythmia. And I thought I was going to die when I left the doctor's office. All I heard was that I was going to have to have surgery. So I knew that I retained only about 10% of the information the physician told me about. Now, as healthcare marketers, this is a huge problem that we deal with on a daily basis because physicians have seven minutes to explain something. Patients are just dealing with the trauma of being um, diagnosed with something, how they're going to tell their family. So they're not retaining a lot. So how we continue that education process when the patient gets home and the care that the physician puts into that process is essential. So what we're doing is we have a couple hospitals right now. We just finished it, and we're able to see in our database um, we built a, uh, a tool that helps the physician protect themselves from informed consent issues. So you would be able to see when the patient opened that email which videos they watched, how often they watched those videos, and that, and then they get a reminder 24 hours before their next appointment to look at these videos because now in the second meeting, instead of the physician spending the time re-educating or um, cleaning up misunderstandings, in that second meeting, we're now talking about strategy. And that creates a completely different environment. 